Well, it's another update here from the channel. What I have here today is the uh, Schneider Electric that connects SCP for XW Plus and SW system control panel. Um, you guys seen I have the uh, the Schneider Electric, the Xantrex XW series, which is the hybrid inverter charger with the XW6048 inverter charger, grid interactive. Well, you guys seen that review, and this is one of the product that's going to be working, incorporated with that inverter charger, the XW6048. And today you guys can see the software version we have there is, is a V as Victor 02.03.00 and was manufactured at 29 December 2017. Okay, just a few months old. But guys, this is what we have here. So what I want to do, I'm going to open up this box and try to show you guys what is in there. And we can get right from there. And from there, I'm going to be showing you the inverter charger that, uh, that is going to be working with this uh, device. So let's open up the box. It's going to be a quick video. I don't want it to be too long. And guys, check this out. All right. This is what is in there. Gonna focus here. Trying to be off camera. All right, so I got it upside down. So, folks, this is the entire device here. I want you to, sorry, sorry. This is what we have here. We have, um, uh, I think it's a CAT6 or whatever it is. But it's an Ethernet cable. I was going to see if it's a CAT5 or CAT6, but uh, here's the cable. And... Um, for connecting the device and here are the manuals always manuals manuals showing you how to mount the entire device there's a manual right here there's a manual right there so you guys can able to see and um, it's another manual right here well done with the manuals let's come to the main theme here this is the device here Dun, dun, dun. See that? This is the control panel. Is a connects. Is the SCP made by Schneider Electric, and I get just guys want to show you this because this is awesome, and our device gonna start working because the reason why I wanted it, I want to make sure I have this so that I can able to do the programming. And tell this inverter what to do, basically. So, if we look at this thing right here, I'm gonna open up this. Whoa! So it has all the mounting stuff. Check this out. It has all the mounting device. They wanna stay here. See. The mounting device so guys um, this is awesome 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 machine that's gonna be able to tell you exactly how the uh, device supposed to be connected or what is supposed to be uh, communicating between the charge controller the inverter and everything around it so that's um, you don't have to go back and look at the, the charge controller. You don't have to go back and look at the inverter. So all you have to do, you got to come back and just look at this. You can program manage your inverter or your charge controller on one of these things. So one just di display. Let me take a look. Take a look at the back of the uh, device here. Let's put this away. And uh, you guys can see what it says from the back. Of the device, want to make sure I hold it right for you guys. See that? So you guys can read for yourself. 
So what you want to do, this port right here, this port right here connect to the inverter is supposed to be the network. It's uh, the XGP, which is this one, like, is that, like the stacking. If you want to stack these inverters in um, parallel mode. So that's the other port. So don't make the mistake and plug the inverter here. You should plug on the network. Okay. So I just want to show you guys and uh, let me bring it closer. So you can have a proper look on it. Okay. So this is the mounting brackets here. Right there. And um, it has a, a USB dongle on it. A little bit dongle. So it's called the DT50. DT50, is, which is an 8 gigabyte of uh, memory. So this one stores information. It's made by Kingston. It's another popular uh, um, hardware storage. Okay. So it's kind of small. It's going to be probably having a kind of LED display here. Um, a light. So these are the things that came with it. And some little screws, if you guys can see here. There's another plug here for the uh, Ethernet. If I think if you want to, um, it's, it's right there. It's like a dongle, a little bit dongle of a US uh, Ethernet Cat 5 or Cat 6. All right, folks. Um, let me take you back to the inverter so you guys can able to see the inverter. That's, um, you guys have seen it so that you guys can see exactly what the inverter I'm talking about here. Stay tuned. Subscribe, like, and share from the command center, JW Solo USA. All right, folks, uh, this is the inverter. You guys have seen this. This is the XW6048 made by uh, Schneider Electric, uh, Zantrex. And uh, you guys can see, got a big knockout here. I think it's an a inch and a half. One, sorry, one and a half inch. And it has the, the uh, terminals here, positive and negative right here. It's indicated right there. So it tells you exactly how to uh, tighten a torque wrench, you can see. And there is a big um, uh, ventilation right there, exhaust. And this is what I was talking about here, guys. And it has the uh, aux, it has the battery temperature sensor, the BTS, which is battery temperature sensor, which is right here. Just like any other IN machines, uh, you guys can see. Um, that's the number right there. As this one goes to the, the negative terminal of the battery post. Okay. It has like um, RJ11 switch the cable, just like a telephone wire. They're called RJ11. And this one here is called RJ45, um, RJ which is an Ethernet cable. All right. These are all communication cable. So what we do here, we're going to take this one, which is the temperature, temp temperature battery temperature sensor. And it's going to plug right here. Okay. It's plugged. And this side goes to the battery negative terminal on it, where the negative feeds that's supposed to be coming to that, the, 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 the negative terminal. And we're going to have this guy here, which is for the Zanbox. This is what it's called, Zan, the display um, of the monitor. And we can take this one and just plug it right there okay now we have the the plugin for our display monitor and this side the other side of this this one is going to be going to 
the display module right here. So this is how it's connected. Remember, flip this thing over, it's already mounted. Let's assume it's already mounted and plug right to here. Let me give you a quick glance here and see. It's gonna say network, okay? See the wires? There is a notch right here. This notch is gonna go on the other side. Click, you hear the click? So now it's connected. We are all in and we're all ready for the business, okay? This thing is gonna fire it up and you can see all the display information you wanna see from this machine, how you can program it, how you can go about it. And this is how you go about it. And this is the way it should be connected. And you have some aux ports right here, auxiliary. So folks, this is just a quick demonstration to show you guys how everything is wired. Battery temperature sensor is right there. And this guy leaned right here. And this is all complete uh, our install, how to program or how to install the connect the SCP. Connect SCP for the XW plus and SW Xantrex hybrid inverter charger. Right here from the channel, stay tuned. Pretty soon, this thing is going to go live. I'm going to be showing you a full demonstration, a full performance, how this thing works. Thank you so much. See you back on the next video. Stay tuned. Bye for now.